Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Shaman King episode number 29. Okay, the previous episode, um, we are in the middle of a big problem. Uh, Ren is like almost dying. Horoholo thankfully was able to stop the bleeding. So, but he's still like, you know, like he, he, he's almost dead. That's what's happening. And, uh, you know, like we are fighting against opponents who heavily outclasses us, Horo Horo and Chocolove in, in no way able to counteract them. And thankfully, uh, Yo comes in, in a very, in the, in the nick of time and he actually stops the opponents and they go away. And we get a little bit of background of uh, Chrome, I think that was the name, Nichrome, Nichrome, that was the name of the guy, uh, the one from the Patch Village, uh, Patch Officiant. Uh, Nichrome, we got a little bit of a background of him, how his, it was his uh, brother who was killed uh, by Ren. Uh, like, you know, we get a little bit of uh, that little background, the backstory and all that stuff. And they go away. But the problem here is that Ren is dying. Only one person would probably be able to help here was uh, Jan. Now Jan came and Yo very much knew what she's going to say. She's going to tell him to withdraw. And like you know, and and uh, and if he withdraws, then she'll help them. Like that's like the agreement that she has thought of. And Yo himself knows that, and he has is determined enough to do that. Uh, obviously, the other like you know, like uh, Horo Horo, they he and uh, Chocolate, they're not happy about this decision, and they're also unhappy about their own, uh, like, you know, because they are unable to do anything for in this situation. They just have to sit and wait. Either Ren dies, or um, Yo will have to uh, forfeit the match. So it's like their hands are tied. They can't do anything, and that's like a frustrating situation. They know they're not strong enough and you know all that stuff is going on and now i'm not sure what jan will say like you know like he she is still not has still not come out she was discussing with marco that yeah she was going to tell him to withdraw but i'm sure something will happen and this decision will be put on hold like you know you're going out of the tournament because it, it doesn't make sense if he actually does not participate in the tournament like how, how is this even possible like this is like he's the main protagonist of this show so i'm, I'm sure something will happen but what will happen and how will happen that's the question here i'm quite interested in seeing how this is going to go and another thing which is quite sh sure about is after ren comes back he'll get immensely strong like fifty thousand, uh you know furioki or something he'll get like almost close to uh jan so that'll be something and that was uh, this is what's happening in this portion like there's another portion where there's something completely different is happening anna uh, you know and like, they are there and anna and her team and uh, there's the two other kids who are mikihiko's um, allies they're fighting and I'm, I'm 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 also quite interested to see what goes on there because i'm sure the kids have something up their sleeves otherwise why would mikihiko actually involve them in this match they must have something you know like some kind of special power or something they must have otherwise i don't i doubt mikihiko would allow them to participate in this battle so i'm quite interested in seeing how that goes as well so anyways uh, without further ado let's get started this is episode number 29 of shaman king I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh yeah, this was also happening. I forgot about this. Uh, oh my God, let's see. Over there. Oh, oh, over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ha <laughs> 
Okay. Oh boy. These guys are too confident. Well, he actually handled everything there. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, like they need to, that's their responsibility. The girl is pretty chill. <laughs> My God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just standing there. They're talking smack for a long while. Oh boy. Oh boy, the sapling is great. Oh, there's like a wound on his back. <laughs> Damn, chocolate looks amazing. I'm very interesting in the, I think they call them Gandhara, didn't they? I'm sure they'll come. Oh boy. Okay, one thing. This opening, in the end, they show a girl and <laughs> I think in the comment section, everyone explained to me that that's actually like a manga character that they just... Yeah, this this is how, isn't it? At the, <laughs> when I saw the, it the first time, I thought it was Yo's mom. <laughs> okay, let's... Anyways, let's see. Jack the Ripper. Oh. Oh, damn. Whoa! Ooh, damn! Oh, nice! Okay. Western gunman doll. Whoa! Oh, oh! You need to defend! Oh! Yeah! She has two of them. One a Tanuki and another the Kitsune, I think. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Their faces, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. You're the one to talk. All right. Hmm. Mm. 
No, you is fine. Okay. I know that's what. My God, they are still riling her up. <laughs> okay, two versus three. That's like a disadvantage, I think. But we'll see. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, she's very. Oh, that's why. Okay, I was thinking. Say down. Christmas. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh okay. Oh my god, she's she saw whatever happened. Oh my god, I was Okay. No, yeah, this this it in itself is long time after. Oh, all right. A short time ago. Wait, is that a golem? Emmet. Yeah, it's a golem. I think like if you remove the E, it dies like Meth and Emmet. Oh, interesting. Yeah, to kill a golem, I think you have to remove the E from Emmet. Oh. All right. Okay, the trans uh, the subtitles are very weird. It's, it's a lot of mistranslations and errors. Ah. Oh my god. I forgot it. Yo, go back. <laughs> what the? Oh, she can try summon the golem. Wow. Wait, didn't the brother know this? Or is this the first time she's doing this? All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> um
100 wax oh boy Wait, is something is something happening? Does she know something about this? Oh. Hmm. I don't think so. Whoa! Huh? Oh! What the? <laughs> um. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> Enough smack talking. Um. Oh, he can't bring take it out. All right. Can I need division to block around. Okay. Shamanic Oracle. Oh, there's like foresight or something they have? Oh! Wait, how? Oh, e ectoplasm. Oh! Oh my god. Whoa! What the? He took his armor off. What? Ah. <sighs> Marion Pawn. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. It's a, it's a smoke thing that's coming out. Oh my god, he's completely... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you can, you can blow it away, like... Like, you know, use wind to disperse it or something? <coughs> oh my god, this attack is weird. Oh my god! As I said, this attack is kind of weird. <laughs>
Okay, come on. Anything? Oh no. Oh no, wait, what happened? What happened? Oh boy. Oh, wait, what? Oh. What what's what's the noise that's coming? Oh my god, this weird music. Oh Damn, they were how written on. Witches. Yeah, because they're shamans. Okay. I don't even know if someone like who can even come and help in this situation mikiko yeah mikiko can i think mikiko will come there you go there you go. There you go. It's over. It's over. Oh boy. These guys, if they actually went away at that scene without trying to kill them, there you go. Probably they could have gotten out of this situation. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> That, that that's swimsuit yeah that that's small fry small fry okay oh did it slap them <laughs> slap <laughs> he's even standing he didn't even move Another slap. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> this guy! <laughs> My god. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, this guy! Oh! Oh! Hmm. Yeah, but if you die... Yeah, that as well. True. Hmm. 
Hmm. Power crushes everything. Oh, damn. I was thinking, like, there must be something with those kids. Like, otherwise, why would Mikiko involve them in the tournament? So, the golem is the main thing. Hmm. Yeah. Who? Who is this? Oh, this. Magnascope. Magna. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Damn, they're gone. What? <coughs> okay, that's the end. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, um, this is episode uh, 29. Okay, um, one thing obviously I kind of thought, like, I was thinking, like, if they somehow get overpowered, who is there that can probably help them? Yo can't help them, Yo is involved. No one else is there that can, that can help them. So obviously it struck me that probably Mikiko is going to come and help them because he's already on the way. And that's what happened as we see by the end of it. Okay, so this episode here. Okay, this episode is fully uh, like, you know, <clears throat> focused on this part. Anna's team and we see everything that's happening here. We caught nothing that like, you know, that was uh, like that we were seeing in the previous episode, uh, the whole situation with uh, Yo and Ren. We got no advancement in that. So it will probably happen in episode 30. That is the next episode. And <clears throat> so it's kind of like a uh, <laughs> you know, I guess a little cliffhanger in a way because they were kind of discussing about what to do and I'm also kind of thinking of what Jun will tell them and how Yo will react to and will he really um, forfeit from the shaman fight but this episode showed nothing <laughs> you know regarding that so yeah that that thing is still kind of bothering me and I'm guessing we have to wait for the next week but anyways uh, like this portion gets resolved. Mm -hmm. These girls, they're fighting uh, Kanna, um, Matilda, and uh, I forgot the other girls, like Mari, Mari, I think that. Anyways, the Dollmaster. So, man, like Shaman King has a lot of characters. It's actually really difficult to remember each and every character's name. And, anyways, okay, so here in this episode, we see their new powers um tamao and 
I always forget the sister's name. Oh my God, what was her name? I forgot her name again. Anyways, um, we get we to see th their power again, like you know, uh, and they have also improved. We can already see like Pyron has the new <laughs> ex extendable arm and legs, and you know Tamao is also pretty strong as we see here. But obviously, by the end of it, we can see that they are no match for these three girls because they have a lot of things going on. It did seem like they were winning, but by the end. They overpowered them and now i remember uh in my previous episode uh in my comments i read about these three girls uh hanagumi the team flower these three girls and you know like <clears throat> in my comment section i found out like someone informed me that about their bad stories and i don't think they'll actually tell them in the you cannot show that in the anime but they have some really, like, you know, bad backstories, sad backstories, and like how, like all the characters that are following how has this type of uh, background. Everyone is like you know has gone through very tough and <coughs> sad times in their past. So how helping them from that situation made them so loyal to how. And that's why, like, you know, from their perspective, how is everything to them? Just like how, like, you know, in our team, just like how uh, Yo saved a lot of uh, characters, you know, in a way, like, you know, Yo kind of helped Ren to overcome his problems and everything. Just like how Yo did in this team. Um, you know, Yo also helped uh, Ryu, Faust as well. Like, that's why, you know, all these characters follow us. Similarly, uh, for how all those characters house teammates follow him for a sim similar reason so it's basically you know like the same like, you know like for them we like you know your team is the enemy while for you their team is the enemy like you know like <clears throat> that's why in that way they are really similar only the major difference between these two are like how is doing everything for his own goals and yo is doing everything for his own goals and like like as we're watching this anime uh, <clears throat> yo's goal is for everyone to live in peace and everything you know and how's goal is kind of a little different it is we still did not get proper clarification of his goal but his goal is something that is related to um i guess um I don't know it's just my guess but it's probably something related to uh, what can i say i think they kind of explained it I, I, or did i forget it how's goal but obviously it's it's not peace it's something different but in uh what can i say in a more uh, i don't know i i think i for, did i forget or did i don't think they properly explained his goal i think they kind of lit, kind of showed us that what his goal is a little bit and did not elaborate on that but yeah but still like you know like as we are seeing this anime we can say that uh like at least we think as an audience that yo's goal is something that is good and how's goal is something that is bad but i don't think that's necessarily the thing uh, I'm sure how has some other goals here because I don't feel like he is the bad character that we all of us think that he is and He did like you know do a lot of messed up stuff, you know like killing people like you know like and that's why like you know like a lot of people just like he saved a lot of people he also um, You know killed a lot of people as well. That's why like you know like because of that I think everyone of us kind of look at him as an enemy and rightfully so because <clears throat> for yeah like you know for the characters in this anime whose family members or like you know whose loved ones died because of how obviously they are going to have a grudge on him like that's nothing new that's something we can't blame them for for example um <clears throat> Lysark, you know and uh the, uh the members from the x laws they have things that happened to their past because of how they lost a lot of people 
lot of loved ones because of how that's why you know uh, looking at it in a broader sense how is an enemy in that way but we'll see you know like uh, we'll see what his actual plans are and what his actual goal is because i don't think he is like you know the same like you know like a character who you know like he's i don't think he's like a cookie cutter bad guy he is probably something different anyways i went on a completely wrong thing anyways okay so yeah as i was saying these three characters they are uh they have some bad and sad backstories and that's why you know like they follow how because how saved them from that so <clears throat> they obviously they are so much loyal to how because of that and you know for them the messed up like you know situation that they had to go through in their past how was the savior for them that's why <clears throat> they are so loyal towards how so obviously it's just a matter of <clears throat> a matter of perspective here <clears throat> like you can't blame any character for them doing <clears throat> what they are doing because for these characters how is correct because he was the savior and for uh, anna and their team no yo is correct because he's doing stuff and he which is for the better of every betterment of everyone so it's just a matter of perspective and yeah like <clears throat> everyone had to go through a lot of bad stuff and it's just that different characters saved uh you know like yo saved a lot of people that we have in our team while how saved a lot of people who are in house team so yeah it's just a matter of perspective but anyways um so yeah we see their fights they are pretty strong and it did seem they were losing it for a moment at the beginning but then suddenly like you know like they start overpowering our characters you know uh tamao and all like, you know and the and the sister i for, i always forget the sister's name so yeah like it, it was like going in a very bad direction now here's another thing that was what's happening in that scene the two kids uh we get a little bit of more background about them the kids they are i guess they were like normal kids and then after the tragedy that happened you know uh, their dad died uh, the sister lost all feelings after seeing uh, their dad's dead body <laughs> and they say that they learned about this whole shaman you know the shaman power and everything very recently and that's why they were not able to use that to track down their dad's killer now i wonder who the dad's killer are is this some, someone that we know most probably no, I think it is most probably someone that we know. Otherwise, why would they bring up this plot point here that, yeah, these little kids, their dad was murdered and the dad left this golem with them. And this golem is something that is very strong and has like, you know, like very, what can I say? Uh, destruct, like a lot of destructive power, which can even be a threat for how, I think. So <clears throat> why would such a plot point come most probably the person who killed their dad must be someone who is either related to this anime and will see him or he has already been introduced and we don't know so we'll see about that <laughs> okay one thing mm, the golem as you can see uh we can see the golem and i like you know like as far as i know about golems uh emeth i think emeth means I think um let me check you know i think meth meth means like death or something like that so for golems you know like okay in hib oh it's hebrew okay emeth means truth all right yeah emeth and i think meth means death or something like that just in a second yeah meth means death Meth means this. I, I, I remember that. I think I, I don't remember from where I've heard this, but I have heard this. Like, this is like a common thing in anime that is emeth and meth. Like, if you 
لكنه امنت means truth and if you remove the e like killing a golem is something that you can do by removing the e and it reads meth which means death and that's how you can kill a golem and i can see that this is like you know this golem also has that thing like it's written emet in it and there is a tree of i think life it's called just a sec tree of life oh yeah here it is um kabala or tree of life yeah tree of life there you go sephiroth tree of life um yeah this thing is also another very common thing that comes in anime you know um like, you know in full metal alchemist and a lot of other animes as well uh, in neon genesis evangelion so you know like these two things like obviously we, i can recognize here and we can see the golem here as well now this golem it is something that i think the sister can control because the sister suddenly summoned it to them and the, a lot of mystery surrounding this now i obviously realized that they were you know these girls were uh, the hanagumi they were you know they came to defeat the skills and i knew something must be up with them otherwise why would mikiko involve them in this fight if they really are some normal kids i thought they were very powerful or something but i think the main thing is that they are not powerful but the golem that they have is powerful so which is probably like a power which can rival uh, how you know i don't know i think so but i might be wrong because how is a pretty strong character so uh, it, it might be that miki is a things that uh, the golem is strong enough to probably fight against how but it actually is not that easy so we'll probably see that in the future episodes but like you know the thing here is the golem is strong however like you know we still don't know how strong it is but it is strong it is so strong that even the patch village officials they are also like you know like moving they're also concerned about this and <clears throat> you know how they are also like how is also probably thinking of thinking about this because that's why he actually dispatched the hanagumi to come and get the kids so it is a source of threat that's why you know like uh, miki he says just like obviously like because the kids are involved in this day he he was like you know rushing to this place and he knew that because of the golem how will not leave them alone and they're in constant danger So that's why Mikisa so suddenly like rushed out as soon as he realized that they are in trouble. So Yeah. Okay, so okay, like the fight was happening and like you know like we see uh them actually overpowering Hanagumi actually overpowering uh Tamao's team. And then like, you know like they were in a very what can I say? Um where is that? Yeah, here it is. They got defeated. <clears throat> and then suddenly, you know, because uh, these girls were actually deciding to go away from here and go uh, like you know, chase Anna, but then they decided to stay and try to kill them, which obviously was one of the biggest mistakes that they made because that actually gave time for Mikihisa to come. And now <clears throat> now Mikihisa like here does a lot of interesting points here. first of all is that he always the first thing he does is comes and slaps the kids <laughs> just you know oh my god here it is where is it yeah he reprimands those kids and he tells them like you know like what they're doing wrong like you know about the whole thing with the doll and their health and you know like if you he says that it's not unusual for dolls to have souls you can have it back take care good care of them and like you know like kind of gives a little what do you call it little advice to them yeah that's what he does he doesn't talk much but kind of gives them a little advice but the thing that the, he really like you know is the biggest uh <coughs> what do you call it In, like interesting thing of this scene is when he actually starts talking to uh, uh Tamao and uh the sister Ren's big sister He says that what what's the point of fighting when the ones you want to protect are gone. Now here's the thing. Um, 
This is completely very much correct. They were actually, even after them, they got defeated, they were sitting down, you know. They were just sitting down. Now, I can understand them actually uh, holding them back and letting, um, like, you know, buying time for Anda when, while she runs away. But after they get defeated, what they should have done is run away. You know, they should have done that. Now, <clears throat> obviously, like, these girls, I, I doubt they would follow them because they have another mission of actually catching up to Anna. So, like, you know, like, them just sitting there was one of the most wrong decisions that they took here because as Mikisa says, that what are you even doing? You are supposed to, like, what's your point? You're trying, you're fighting here to protect every, everyone. So, what's the point of even staying here when the person, people you're trying to protect are not even here? Like, she, they were uh, buying time for Anna, but now that they're defeated, that they can't do that anymore. They can't buy any, any more time. So, what is left here is for them to run away and save their own life. But they, like, you know, they here obviously, like, like fell down sat down and they were like you know devastated and everything and they were just sitting and uh, the opponents attacked them so if they somehow got injured or even died it would have been in vain so like you know that's what they like you know she he actually scolded them about i think and he mm. another thing he says here is that uh, everyone lies prostrate before great power and okay here it is just a sec power crushes everything good people and be bad people everyone lies prostrate before great power then we all die and turn to dust. You've had a brush with death. Damn, the subtitles and translation is really weird. I can feel they're saying a lot of other things, but the subtitles are... I don't know. Like here, like I think he does a lot of other things as well, but the subtitles here are very less and concise. Just a sec. Yeah, I'm, I think he is telling a lot of other things as well, but they like, you know, the subtitles are really concise and really weird, especially in this episode. But anyways, you know, like, uh, like, and then Mikisa says that if those kids had activated the Golem of War, we'd all be dead now. That's their terrible power. That's why I stay close to them. Children are naive and innocent, which makes them more dangerous. They may lie, but they will never... What? Just a sec. Okay. Yeah, the translation is a little bit weird here. Children are naive and innocent. Okay, the... they may lie, but they will always be true to themselves. The translation is weird here. It doesn't even make any sense, any proper sense. I'm, I'm really actually struggling here to actually understand what he's saying. Like, he's saying something else in Japanese. I can realize that, but I can properly, like, you know, put a finger on it. And, that, and, and the subtitles are completely different. Okay, anyways, I'll, I'll concentrate on the subtitles like what's actually really uh bothering me is like he's telling something else and the subtitles is reading something else now as i said i am a little bit familiar with japanese and that's why like you know like i'm reading something and the the sound that is coming is completely different and that's why i'm, I'm getting a little bit confused here okay let me just concentrate on the subtitles i i won't listen to what he's saying okay they may lie but they will always be true to themselves and that is the truth. Truth is reality that, oh my God, it, it really doesn't make sense what he's saying. Truth is reality can, truth is reality cannot be altered. I'm sorry guys. Um, yeah, the, uh, this scene especially, 
The subtitles really don't make any sense. At least I can't figure out what he's trying to say. Okay, reality cannot be altered. There's nothing crueler and more commonplace than truth. Yeah, this I can understand, but the scene before that, I really don't understand what he's trying to say. That is the truth. Truth is, reality cannot be altered. What does this even mean? Okay, let me concentrate on the Japanese, what he's trying to say. Okay. Okay, this, the, I can't even understand the Japanese. It's very complicated. So yeah, unfortunately, I am unable to understand what he's saying here. The, the way he talks here, Mikisa, is a bit complicated and that's why I can't understand. And the subtitles uh, are not helping at all. I, I can't even understand what he's telling in the subtitles. But anyways, um, there's nothing crueler more than commonplace or commonplace than truth. Okay, this I understand. Go home if you have homes. Okay, anyways, uh, like as far as I could understand here, he, he uh, here he tries to explain that you should not just like you know like throw away your life you know because power is something which crushes everything and if by any chance the golem got activated here each and every character here would have died so you are basically throwing away your lives here for example the um, Tamao and uh, Ren's uh, sister, they were still sitting here even though there were no no one left to protect. They could have easily run away and they did not do that, obviously because they were shocked and everything. But still, they should actively try to try to save themselves as well. It's well and good that they're trying to save and trying to buy time for Anna, you know. But they should also keep their well-being in, like, you know, in their mind as well. Like, Anna saved both, like, you know, them. That we know. But that doesn't mean that they should, like, you know, fight for their life and lay down their life to help Anna. No, keep an eye on, they should also keep an eye out for their own lives as well. That was an advice for them. For um, the Hanagumi, he's saying that, like, they defeated them and they could have easily, I, I think at least that's what he's trying to say. Uh, I might be wrong though. Uh, they could have just went away from here, but they decided to stay here and, like, you know, try to kill them. But, you know, if, since Mikiisa came here in the nick of time and the golem was summoned, you know, back to them, you know, nothing more, like, you know, nothing else happened. But if somehow the golem got uh, activated over here, they would have died, most probably. That's why I think that's what Mikiisa is trying to say, that power is something that crushes everything. It doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. In front of power, everything is the same there is no good team or bad team in front of overwhelming power so <clears throat> you know i think like that's what it, like as i said this this portion i really like, is un i'm really unable to understand what he's trying to say because the subtitles really don't make any sense and the japanese is very complicated here you know the way he says it's not simple language that he he's, he's speaking in a very complicated manner that's why you know like obviously like i don't have any active knowledge of japanese the only thing that i know is something that i have learned from hearing anime for so many years like you know i can only understand simple language like you know simple sentences so the section here I wasn't able to understand what Mikisa is saying. So yeah, this, this section was a bit complicated for me to understand. But anyways, like, you know, like, yeah, like if you have any other, like, you know, short or summary, like, you know, concise way, you can just explain this section. You can do it in the comment section because, like, you know, I feel like there is a lot of things that Mikisa actually tried to tell us here, but I wasn't able to properly understand because of, uh, you know, because it was not properly expressed in this section. So if you have any concise, like, you know, portion, you can just let me know. Explanation of this thing. Anyways, uh, that was that. And then in comes Magna, you know, and Magna says that you guys, you know, you've done enough. Go back. This guy, he's way more strong than you guys. So you won't be able to do anything. And you know, and we can see, he, like, from Magna as well, we can realize that the golem is a pretty big deal. 
and then they go away and here the last scene also is kind of confusing just a sec here mikisa is just standing the girls are also there uh, tamao says mikisa sama those girls and he says that it can be helped nothing can be done nothing is that how it is yo like here again i don't understand what what this means why is he looking at the sky and asking yo like how is yo related to this i i think most probably we'll get to know in the future episodes like how is yo even related to this like you know the, everything that happened here hopefully we'll get to know in the future or maybe this was just something else but i'm trying to yeah anyways we'll see about that so yeah that was this episode damn this this discussion went on a little bit too long because i was really trying to understand what was happening in the last scene but i was unable to <laughs> but yeah like nothing much happened like now that i see here in this episode it was basically them fighting and like, you know we got introduced to the golem and we get a little backstory of the two kids we get a little like you know information about their dad about the golem how the golem is something that is very strong we get a little bit of fight scene we see how um you know the hanagumi's uh you know power is a lot more stronger than these like you know than tama and uh, ren's sister and we also see how they are also somehow affected by their past and how they are so much um thankful towards uh how that's why they're following them uh following how and mikisa then comes in saves all of them kind of gives them a little bit of uh of advice <laughs> and uh, yeah then that's it so yeah nothing much happened here now that i see but yeah that was it so that's it guys so that was my reaction to this episode i feel like i you know this episode's like you know my discussion portion was a little bit like you know weird because i like most of the portions i was trying to figure out what they were trying to say but the subtitles like you know i was reading especially after like you know the after my reaction portion when i when i again go through the little the portions and try to see what is happening and try to uh, give my impressions on it i was going through the section and by reading the subtitles in a lot of parts i wasn't able to understand what they're trying to say like they're saying stuff but it like when looking at them in a more proper way most of the sections wasn't really making any proper sense so that's why i think this the this discussion section was really weird and long so <laughs> i apologize for that so yeah that's it so that was my reaction thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day